today we are doing a soundtrack here, but hold on, let me take a sip. Because I haven't had tea all day. So, let's start with this now. Today we are gonna do synths, well synths, when I say synths, I mean strings, pads, that dreamy sound which, you know, we kind of, I don't know why, someone put it in my head some way back that these are called synths. Whereas now, when I've learned synthesis, the synth could be kind of anything. It could be, you know, a synth bass or a synth then synthesized, synthesized, synthesized bass or a synthesized piano or something like this. Anyway, when I say synths, in particular, I mean that string sound, the pad sound, I don't know what you actually call it. So we're doing those today. And, um, oh, before I begin, to those one or two of you who are kind of trying to make me give this up, give Soundtrack Pro up, and move on to Octomed because it's technically better. Well, why are you using Octomed and not a modern digital audio workstation on, you know, software? If technically better is what you want. I'm doing here what I have a passion for. And I have a passion for Soundtrack Pro too. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> so, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so, let's, <laughs> let's kind of, you know, begin with this. Okay, so, Oh! I didn't set up my keyboard. Where's it gone? And my MIDI interface. What the freak? I haven't even prepared. Typical me. Okay, so I'm back here and um, I have a list of my my music. Okay, so the music which today I'm gonna use an example is Waterfall. Now, Waterfall, I you will have heard it in the background of some of my videos and um, you will have you will have heard it in its recreated form. So I'll leave you to hear that just to remind you. music because it's very there's a lot of synths in it. Synths as in a lot of strings, pads, chords. Chords, that's the word I should say. There's a lot of chords in it. And um, in fact a lot of it's made of chords, like the music. And you know something? I showed my niece, my uh, my niece Heba, she um, heard the finalized version, the, the um, enhanced version which um, you lot are more familiar with and she heard this one she likes the Amiga one better she says she, that one's good but she likes the Amiga one better she's just... I don't know, she just likes the sound of it and that's coming from a 12 year old you know, which is kind of... wow, you know what I mean? you may be asking what inspired Waterfall now, with some of my music it's been inspired by other mods Every now and then you get a piece of music and it's inspired by some other piece of music which you love so much. Waterfall is actually inspired by Matthew Simmons uh, or Format, uh, his, his Waterfall. Because I get obsessed with that mod, I love it. And I still do to this day. And this is Format. And you notice I use the same instrument. It's one of those where you kind of wish, oh, I wish I had done this because it's so nice. But I admire this so much that I created my own waterfall. But it's so beautiful. It's just, it gives me feeling. It's just that, you know, 
Okay, I don't think it's well known or anything. Now, out of this waterfall, Matthew's waterfall, I created... It's just... I use the same instrument, of course, in the enhanced version, the instruments are completely different. But... I wanted a similar feeling. I'm continuing on. Now if you take out the bass here... Now this is just a simple one note, it's not even a chord. It's actually the Inca sound which I sampled from SY22, the Yamaha SY22. And this is of course from Waterfall the sample. Now this is a chord. Now I want to take this part out and it's just got this. Now it's not a, it's not a chord. Now you will notice that this is it doesn't have a depth. It doesn't have that feeling. It doesn't quite hit the spot. However, if you were to get this, I'm gonna switch MIDI on so I can use it. But again, if you were to like make it into a chord, so A, this A, skip to like this. depth to it. Now, you'll notice this takes up two, you know, so if you want to create an instrument, as in an instrument that um, is a chord in itself. Okay, so 11, let's get this Inca, yeah, now you copy it onto two more, yeah, let's copy it onto 13, now 13, will be unaltered. That is the original. Now what you gotta do is arrange the display and then copy it. So you got that copied. Now the other two, you gotta go into the sound. Can you see that sound button? Now this does the tuning and the sampling for, uh, for each individual sound, each individual sample. So let's go to... We wanna make this one major. We are gonna tune this to E. Yeah? And you change this to E. And then you press resample to make it permanent. Yeah? So it resamples this into. Yeah? Now what you do is the one you copied, the normal one, you just mix it into this. So what you've done here is you've created you have created an Inca major. Yeah? It's kind of what I was doing in if you've watched the Messiah, the, the C64 Messiah cartridge which I was messing around. I was trying to create the the major and the minor chords, the sounds, so that you know we can use them as synths or pads or chords or whatever. Alright, so we have Inga major. That's E. Now if you want to make a minor, you have to do it not E, not this, but you have to do it D sharp, which is that black key just before E. Yeah, resample. And then you mix the original C into it. So you've got here, Inca major, and Inca minor. And what you can do with this, these two, now this third one here is, that's just the, the control, if you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can just like delete that. You don't need that anymore. You have your major, you have your minor, and that's cool. Now what you can do here is just... Now you can... Minor. Let's put the volume of each one of those. You go to the sound again, the same tuning place, and you can adjust the volume for each individual sample. So, minor, major. Let's make them a bit quiet. So we have... No! We need minor for this. So minor. You need your ears for this. You really need to concentrate on what sounds good towards the bass. And then... Do you see that sounds wrong, yeah? Ooh, it sounds out of tune. Oh, 
It's painful to hear. The C doesn't suit minor, it suits major, so you have to... You see the difference? So... And then again... See, that D doesn't suit... Ma um, D's doesn't suit major. Like, look, listen. See, it just sounds wrong. So you take it to minor, and you put the D in minor. Major. So these are two alternate ones. It depends on the note. Whether you use a major or minor, it depends on the note, and that is the part you really have to listen for. And here we gotta do A, which is. Okay, that suits it. I can already hear that suits it. See, that just completely doesn't suit it. A, A in major doesn't suit it. Mm. Let's make it into minor. And then the C again. In, um, right, so right here. Let's go with more depth. And that's how you basically create a synth. And the synth is in accordance. Can you see the notes? The bass. Look for the bass, yeah? It goes with the bass somehow. The, the notes match up to the bass. What, what you're doing with a now with a with a piece of music, what you're trying to do is create a harmony between you, know, you cannot just like create a tune, create a bass, create this, and they're doing their own thing. You cannot do that. You have to make them connect and talk to each other, create a harmony together, and that's. that's I mean, now listen to this. This is created a chord between the lead. You know? Normally it would just be... So you gotta create a harmony between, you know, it's... Now then, again, if you have watched my Messiah Cartridge 1, when I was singing on the Commodore 64, and you're a big fan of the Commodore 64 synth sound, you can actually create it, you can actually create it on the Amiga. And it's actually easier than doing this. Then, you know, it's got a different effect, but it's easier than doing this. Let me demonstrate. Okay, so you have that. In fact, let's just do it real time. So recorded a single thingy. In fact, it's maybe a bit out of a line, so you just kind of go back and sort it out. Seven. What you want to do is, I think 37, yeah, 37 is minor, 47 is major, yeah? So you gotta find out which sounds good. So, let's see which is... That's the one. Now just create the seven all the way down. You can just change between the four and the three. So one's major, one's minor, yeah? 47 major, 37 minor. You see what I mean? So you need major, sorry, minor, then major, I think, then it's minor, and then major again. So it's going all the way down, so it's it's like I 
And that is the same Inca. You're just processing it, you're making it into kind of, you know. You can do all sorts of things with this. Now, if you change the instrument, like if you change this Inca to, let's say for example, crystals, which is another sample which I sampled from... Uh, it's better. And it changes the characteristics of its use of different samples, so... You can put absolutely anything there you want. So you've got the freedom to kind of change the characteristics of the sound. So let's go back to Crystal. Because I like Crystal with this effect, to be honest. In fact, I will show you another song of mine where I actually did use Crystal. I've done this method. And I haven't done this method in many of my songs. Uh, many of my pieces of music, actually. Just like... Actually, just one. Maybe two. I couldn't remember. But one, only like one or two. And I remembered in Crystal, so it's like... Now, if you change the equalization now okay i'll show you how to use the equalizer yeah equalize now these are like a three band these down here are three band equalizer yeah so it's like you're doing this is bass mid range and treble now what i want to do here is keep that the same make the treble high listen boost the treble up now i'm going to do that okay maybe not that high because you want to do it gently okay so then you do equalize so you equalize it's like if I do equalize a bit more and then do this part the second part equalize it just a little less it's gonna sound a bit it's best doing this on an analog thing I'm doing this such a crude way yeah I'm doing it just to show you such a crude way so you have so basically you end up with it starts bright yeah? And I want this to actually start very bright, so... That's it! That's what I'm after. So, you'll see what I'm gonna do. It's just you're messing around with this, you can... You know, whatever is your limit. Sky is your limit. Can you see that? Now that's gonna create a nice Sid style effect. See what I mean? It's made it bright. And you can actually make it stereo. So how you make it stereo is you copy this, the first... Okay, let's do this one. You copy the this one, and then you put it into the second one, but it's identical, right? Yeah? But instead of identical, you knock one out of... like that. So you make it this line. It sounds kind of nice. Now let me show you the song which I actually used that, and I think I'm gonna record this song too. When did I create this? 2000. Okay. I'm sure it was in this one. Yes, it is there. Instrument 29. It's crystals, yeah, I thought so. Oh, what I did here was I reversed it. So I did crystals. There we go. And that's just one crystal. Now what you do is you copy this and you paste it and it just creates two of them, right? Now, what you do here is, this is how you reverse a sample. So you make it go backwards. Now, you kind of, what I do is I just like, cut this, so it kind of brings me you like, know, joins them together. 
So it's extended the sample in the funny sort of way. That's how I've done it. It's just, I like that sound. It's very nostalgic. I've heard this for ages. Now. <laughs> it's like college memories. Okay, so that's basically it for with regards to you know how I do the synths and things like that and the different ways of doing them. And I'm gonna finish off now with um, a video and a remix which a friend of mine all the way from Belize called uh, Sean uh, Sean Tevez. Hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> Um, he's uh, done a remix of Waterfall, of uh, you know my tune, Waterfall, and I'm like, wow, when he showed me, I was like, wow, it's a pretty good remix. So I leave you with that and the video which he made of the beauty around Belize, this country. So thanks so much for your likes, your shares, do leave your thoughts in the comments below, and uh, do subscribe for more. And thanks so much for all my patrons. Uh, who donated, you know, really, thank you so much, I appreciate it, and I am on Patreon, so if you wish to support, feel free, if not, that's cool, and, um, yeah, here you all are, I listed your names, <laughs> so who supported me, so thanks so much, and anyone who has donated to me on Patreon, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is, if I'm aware of their YouTube channel, I will link it in the description below, and uh, so do check out their channel, you know, uh, and I'm looking at you, Commodore, um, Casual Commodore, and I'm looking at you, GadgetUK164. You both got amazing channels, do check out their channels, they're linked in the description below.